Welcome back. Well, make sure it's still playing. The last couple of videos I did, it for some reason, like a second and a half in, it, it shuts back off on my iPad. Cause that's how I video this stuff is on my iPad. And then I can edit it and keep it all on the same. I don't have to go from a camera and then download it into my on my iPad or laptop. I do it right on this. But anyways, I got this glued on there. I made this all on video. I thought I did anyways. Um, I end up cutting this back off. This is the part that goes through there. I might remake this. If I had it to do over again, I would just shape this. You know, mark it, your bottom, set it there, mark it from underneath. So you get your taper or mark it, whatever, mark it and get your taper. And then shape this. I shaped it and then I glued it on here. And then uh, I think I would have done that before instead of following this template, and, you know, because I cut it to this template and then set it on here and marked it. And well, then by the time you cut down to get this to go down, down the sides and then try to round it. It's probably better just to take the piece and, and you could probably use the same piece because you got the extra off the sides and you won't waste a whole nother piece just for that. That's what I would recommend if I had to do over. Just cut this piece out then shape it then use the scrap from that to make this piece because it just follows the, the angle of the rudder. <clears throat> Is all it does. So, you know, it's the same shape as this. So, I mean, you could even take the piece and put it on here and shape this to the shape. And then your angle, which you need to come up to close to the bottom of this when it's sitting on there. I would rather do that if I had to do over again. <clears throat> and I also, get this out of here, uh, finish covering the bottom. Did that too. Both sides are done. I, it's not all done. You see, you still got to put that wood across here too from the tailwheel back. And I think there's a V cut that goes in here, if I remember right. And I still got to shape the back and round that yet. But I think this piece here will be probably next that I do once I get this piece put back in. Back up there. Get this, get this shape to the right thing and then go under the bottom here so that I can get the, the back, I can sand the back flat and put that round piece on the back. Anyways, but then, uh, so the fuselage is getting there. I still haven't done the elevators. They're, they're still setting over there. I haven't covered the bottom of them yet. Um, I still got to put the end, outside end pieces on. Um, I still have to make the control surfaces for the elevators. I haven't even put those together yet. So I think that's what I'm going to do tonight. I think it's like four o'clock now. <sighs> yeah, 3.45. Um, Sunday. And, uh, I did get, the. Uh, all the elevator controls in, all that epoxy and glued. The remote servos mounted in there. I might put some pictures of that on the end of this video, how I did it. And, uh, 
to get that out of the way. That's done. So now all that's mounted inside. That's why I closed it up. And uh, that should be on. I have a video for that. I should. You guys probably already seen it. So by the time this one comes out. Um, so then I still got to do the front. <clears throat> Up here, I still got to do that three quarter on the front. And it gets rounded all the way around the shape of the front. So it like rounds in. I still have to build that. I have the ring, the cowl ring. I should probably can, can use that to go to circle. Then three quarter all the way around for that. So then I, I still have to do that. Um, I, I, and then now I can get to the point where I can maybe get the, the motor mounted on the front of this. The main wing, I haven't touched it. I haven't done nothing with it. Um, only when I first got the plans, I looked at them a little bit. But that has, the whole main wing has to be made yet, too. So. But the fuselage is getting there. This is the hard part. The wing should go pretty fast. Um, but just to let you guys know, but I hate it when my camera, this glue is a dry. It's only been setting like half hour so I'll probably end up getting jumping and uh it's already six minutes into this video and start working on the elevators getting the elevators done so then those can get mounted on here and uh control surfaces for that so that's probably what I'm gonna work on tonight so that should be this hopefully in this video or depends on where it goes when I edit them um, so, all right, let's get, uh, working on elevator. Did not grab the cutter. This is, uh, it's still thin, but this is some older stuff that's thickened up. I didn't buy any new thick stuff or medium. I probably should have. I probably would have made this a lot easier.
use I use for that for both of them. So this one should already be cut to the right point to get there. Something close.
one. I thought I didn't know how far to glue, so I went to mark this thing. Two, I, it might sound like two. Uh, I realized in the one video I put up when I said that, it, that uh, it sounded like I was bashing this uh, my third home park that we live in. And uh, it's actually a nice park. Uh, I call it park. It's, uh, I don't know, maybe it is park. I don't know. But it's a modular home living facility. There's not a trailer. There's nothing in there. But they're like the higher end ones. And uh, it, is, it is a nice place. It's really, real secure. And, and uh, we don't have security or anything, but you might as well say we do because everybody's looking out for everybody and there's really <clears throat> no crime or nothing in here. It is, a really, it is a nice place. And uh, I think we're about ready to hit 250 subscribers today. Maybe today. I don't know. I, was, I think we're at 249 the last time I looked. And uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. And thanks. Appreciate it. Makes me a little more motivated to, to see all the, the people watching and stuff. It, Actually makes you a little more motivated to make videos, so I appreciate it. <clears throat> Not sure if I want to say in these yet. <coughs> Trying to figure out some way to because this is just one of my bedrooms, and, and I, I call it my hobby room, but or the shop or whatever. <clears throat> but I, I don't like all the dust being in the house. It's I'm trying to think of a way to do it. Or if anybody's got any advice or something, I thought about doing a box fan and just putting a a uh, filter on it so that it just suck the air to it, you know, they set it next to me or something so it sucks the air into it and and you don't have so much dust in here. Um, it's, I leave my room door, the hobby room here, door closed so it, most of it stays in here but I, I still don't even like it being all over everything. Um, so I'm, that's my biggest thing right now. It's, not get motivated to sand because then I gotta clean up after myself after I've done it. It's uh, be nice if I had a garage with a hobby room in it or something, but I don't even have a garage, so I can't even do that. I didn't, you know, 